Hi everyone, in this video we're going to finally start modeling our first character in Blender and we're going to start with the head. So first of all I'm going to load in my reference image. So to do that press N and then scroll down and uh, where you see background images just check that text box. And then go to all use and change it to front then open it up. Alright, um, so now when you go to the front view, hit numpad 1 and also hit numpad 5 to change to all the graphic view, uh, you get, you'll finally see your reference image. This is a reference image that I drew myself. Uh, I've added the link in the description below if you want to download for yourself. You're free to do so and use it in your own projects. Um, it's a CC0 license, so uh, feel free to do whatever you want with it. Um, I'm also going to load this reference image on the side view as well, so in the right view when you hit numpad 3. So I'm going to press add image again, change this to right view and then just load in that same image. Just like that. Okay, um, I'm, I'm not going to use any of these objects so I'm just going to select all of them by pressing B box select and then X delete. Alright, so now I'm just going to reposition uh, my reference image. So maybe on the front view I'll move it on the, the X axis I'm going to move it in such a way that the blue line is right in the center. You can press shift to control to fine grain control um, the movement. And if you can't do that, then you can just manually type. Somewhere like that. And then from the side view, uh, side view doesn't really matter so much, but I'll just uh, put it round about the middle of the, the head. Middle of the cranium, I guess. Just like that. Okay, so now we're ready to start modeling. So I'm just going to drag out this window on the uh, top right corner. And then from this view, I want to press 3 to go into right view. Press NT to remove the toolbars on the side, if it's already open. Um, and then do the same here, press NT to hide the, the toolbars. First of all, before I actually start modeling anything, I better discuss how I'm going to approach modeling this character. A character with good topology has loops around the eyes, around the bridge of the nose, apologies for my poor drawing, and also around the lips. So if you are able to get a good edge flow around the eyes, the bridge of the nose and the lips, you can be assured that your character has good topology, in other words, your character will bend and deform quite nicely when animated. Of course, we will be using poles over here. And the poles are mostly used to redirect our edge flow. We will add in a loop around the nose as well. So over the bridge of the nose, right under the nose as well. Also from the side view, I will be adding a loop around the ears as well. And the whole idea is that it follows the structure of our facial muscles. But uh, yeah, in general, they help to reduce poly count and they also help to make your models look clean and presentable. Okay, so let's begin. So first of all, we want to start with adding the loops around the eyes. So I will explain everything that I'm doing as I go. So all you have to do is press Shift A, Mesh, Circle. Straight away, hit T before you click anything else and change the vertices to 12. We don't want to have uh, a high number of polygons to begin with. Uh, the key in 3D modeling is to always start low poly and then build your way up to high poly. That way it makes everything easy and manageable to work on. So anyways, um, once you've done that, tab into edit mode and um, move your circle up around the eye area and press RX90. Like so. And then scale it down. And just also, we want to save half the amount of time in modeling this face. So I don't want to do the other eye as well as doing this eye. I, I want to skip that. So let's just, uh, that helps to speed up our workflow by two. So go to the modifiers uh, panel in the properties window, press add modifier and select mirror. Uh, click clipping if it isn't clicked already. Th that means that when you uh, move your vertice to the uh, right on the middle, it now becomes one vertice. And when you tab out, you can see that it, it just becomes one vertice over there. But uh, I'm not going to do that for this one. So clipping will just clip your vertices right to the middle. Alright, so now that we have the vertices around the eye, 
all we have to do is simply reposition them. Once you've done that, also take into account the right view as well. So I want to right click the top middle part of the eye, also the bottom, and then I want to enable proportional editing. So just go over here and press connected. Uh, alternatively, you can press Alt O, that'll toggle it on and off. And what this will do, it will allow multiple vertices to move along with the ones that you selected, and you can control the fall off. So which part of your model will have influence when moving. So it proportionally moves the rest of your rest of the vertices that are around the vicinity of the ones that you selected. So I'm going to control the Y axis by hitting Y. Let's just move it to somewhere like there. Let's select the end over there and let's move it a little bit back. Something like that. And just a little bit of Anatomy 101. This corner of the eye doesn't go as far back as this corner of the eye. Generally it's it's this corner of the eye is the one that goes furthest back. Just a bit of anatomy 101 for you. Uh, now I can keep tweaking this and making it look perfect, but uh, I'm not going to. So um, I would suggest that you take the time in showing that this is looking good. From this point of view, it looks okay. It looks uh, presentable. So I'll stop. I'll leave it at that. So once you've done that, uh, select everything by pressing A. Press A again if it's if, if everything was deselected. Uh, press E to extrude, and then S to scale up, like so, and then click in place. And now I'm just going to turn off proportional editing. Then I'm going to press S Z, and what I'm going to do now is I'm, I'm just going to cover the entire eye area. Do the same from the right view as well. Uh, since we're working in low poly, press Z if you can't see through the model. Yeah, so I know I'm, it, it does appear slow initially, but uh, bear with me, it will start to become fast once we uh, st start adding in the other loops and then it's just a matter of filling in towards the end. Okay, so at this point, I'd say the eyes looks pretty good. So to finish off the eyes, all I'm going to do is press Ctrl R to add a loop around the eyes over here, like so. And then in right view, just press G Y to move it back, and that will give you your eyelids. So by doing that, I'll obviously need to pull these vertices out. Z. We have our completed eyes. So let's now move along to the next part. Let's add the bridge around the nose. So to do that, I'm just going to extrude out these three vertices. So just select them and hit E. Rule of thumb, I like to start around the middle of the eyes and select that face there, and around the side of the eye and select that um, edge there. Thank goodness we have a low number of polys, so it's not there's not much I needed to extrude anyway. So once you've extruded that. Simply just extrude out once, and then extrude out again, and that will connect the um, connected over the bridge of the nose. Of course, we need to do that in side view as well. So grab Y, and just follow the reference. Okay, so we've got something that looks like that. I might move it here. Though. And note that we've added a pole over here, one, two, three, four, five. That's perfectly fine because I don't assume there'll be much deformations going on around there. Uh, I'm also going to add a pole over here. So one, two, three, four, five. Um, because we're now going to start to redirect our edge flow so that it goes around the bridge of the nose. Imagine those laugh lines that you have. Try to model it in a way so that it, it sort of follows that pattern. I 
Okay, and disconnect it over here. Rotate and try to fit it to the reference. Oops, I've accidentally clipped it. So if it once it's clipped, you can't unclip it. It becomes stuck to the mesh. So just click on clipping. So that will disable clipping. And then enable clipping again. That should solve the problem. I think we've got way too many uh, vertices there. So I'm just going to delete that edge loop. Anyways, the point is you just want to have this flow over here like that. Let's now add a loop around the mouth as well. To do so, I'm just going to zoom out, click outside, and press Shift A, circle. Sorry, circle. By doing so, I don't I don't make the mistake of putting the circle somewhere here and then accidentally clipping uh, the circle on the midway point. So let's Control Z that. Press R X ninety. It remembers our last saved option in the T panel, so it won't ask you to uh, ask you to specify how many vertices because it knows. I'll, I need 12. So I'm just going to box it like by pressing B and then left click dragging half of it and then just delete it. Now select all of this, uh, scale it down and let's now zoom back in and just stick it where our lips is going to be, like there. And then it's just a matter of now putting everything in place. Again just follow the reference. Like that might just add in an extra one here. So I just selected both of them, press W and then subdivide, and just give it a little bit more shape. I think I think that's good enough. So we now have the lips. Of course, never neglect the right view. I'm going to enable proportional editing for this. Note that I've kept a bit of a distance at the edge, and you'll, and there is a reason why I'm doing that. This just only highlights the uh, the outline of the lips, the actual lips itself. We're going to extrude now, scale in a little bit, and then press S Z to shut it close, like that. So now we we've uh, made the corner more together. Okay, and uh, now all we need to do is extrude it out once again. So S Z. And I'm just gonna move this up. Now, it looks a little bit dark here, like you can't see anything. And that's probably because the normals are facing in the wrong direction. To fix that, press T or is it press A to select everything, and then go to Tools, also Shading UVs, and then Recalculate, and flip direction. Oh, it still looks a bit dark. We'll, f we'll fix that in, in a short amount of time. It's probably not recognizing. It probably needs to be connected to the mesh for anything, for it to be noticeable. Okay, that's perfectly fine anyway. Um, so now that we have uh, the lips there, let's just reshape this. Let's now add uh, the bridge around the nose. So I'm just going to select, say, these three, like so. Okay, so now I'm going to add in another pole over here. So when, when I do that, I need to also modify this view as well. So we've now created the, the loop around the nose. Finally, we want to create one more uh, loop around the lips. So to do so, I'm just going to connect these faces. And 
can join them up. Uh, now we can recalculate normals. I really can't see what's going on there. I'll flip direction. There we go. And move these out. Like so. We will just drag out another one over here. Scale it up. Drag like that. I actually might just add one more loop over here. Something's not even. Fill this up. My idea is I want to try to get a pole over here, right on the corner of the nose where really any deformation will go on. And now we can fill these up. So we've still ensured that we have loops around the lips. So that's perfect. I guess now it's just a matter of connecting everything up. Uh, by the way, to save you time from having to press uh, select all four vertices and then press F to fill the faces each time, uh, I can show you a shortcut which will save you a lot of time doing this stuff. File. User preferences, add-ons, type F2. This is an add-on, a plugin built into Blender. Tick that to enable the plugin. Close it. Okay, anyway, we'll start there. I press F, and then you'll see that it automatically fills in the gaps for you. Uh, let's add in one more loop, I guess. So add in a loop here. Add in a loop here by pressing Control R, and just cutting in a loop there. And simply just add and fill this for the face and continue to fill the rest. For the last one, I might add two more loops over here. I'll we'll just uh, add in a loop over here. Fill these four in. Fill, fill, and then fill. 